Hey guys, Desolator Magic here, and we have some very exciting, really cool looking uh, information, pictures, details, everything from the upcoming board game, Heroes of Dominaria. Now the last time they did this, it was Explorers, and they've done this in the past, uh, it was before I started playing, I believe, but uh, they, they made a board game out of Magic the Gathering, but you had to know how to play Magic the Gathering. It literally came with four decks, and you played. They just added a little side thing to it. I thought it was fantastic, Explorers looked awesome, didn't actually pick it up myself because most of my friends either had to recently move away or died. So gave that one a miss, but um, I do think that, you know, as a, oh, introduction to Magic, no. It was literally an advanced version of Magic. You had to already know how to play and then add this to it. Very dumb. That said, good product, just very, very narrow. Did not do what I think they were shooting for, which is introduce the board game people and the tabletop gaming people to Magic, which, I mean... Come on, have they really not heard of it? It wasn't even like a watered-down version of, of Magic, which they've done for D&D, &D, and everybody hated, by the way. So I think with this one, Heroes of Dominaria, they're just going for the lore. The story, the characters kind of get you into that, and if you're into that, because honestly, the story's awesome for Dominaria, because somebody from Wizards didn't write it. I should say, nobody from Wizards wrote it. That would be the better way to phrase that. That's still a double negative. Somebody who doesn't work for Wizards wrote it. It's Martha Wells, for God's sake. Anyway, um... I think they're going for that, you know, so if somebody's like, oh, this is cool, maybe I should look at magic. Oh, I, oh, Karn's on a card too, Chandra's on a card too, oh boy. So Blake Rasmussen released an article today called Try Out Heroes of Dominaria Before Official Release! Exclamation mark. So I have not read this yet, I just kind of skimmed it and then I'm like, eh, I don't know, I might as well read this because it's got Blake Rasmussen written all over it. Both literally and figuratively. So he says Dominaria is the gift that keeps on giving. Let me stop right there, Blake Rasmussen. I'm going to translate this for all of you. Um, we made a set that kind of sold well and is actually worth something. Although personally, by the way, I lost about 20% and I think the set's crap, like from a financial standpoint. Complete and utter disaster. But people like it, people are playing with cards from it. Like now, I guess. And honestly, none of the rares have slid down really, and a lot of the mythics have shot up. Or, like, three of them. It's not really a lot. So, yay, congratulations us! We didn't make a set that's a complete dumpster fire for once. So, Dominaria is the gift that keeps on giving, and the next particular gift it's going to give, that's a weird phrase, is Heroes of Dominaria, a tabletop strategy game developed by Wizards of the Coast and published by WizKids, set in the world of Dominaria. It releases in, oh, July. Wow, I thought it was June. Um, but there are some opportunities coming up to try it out before then. Exclamation freaking mark. You can't seem like you're more excited than the person reading. You can't do that. That's bad authorship but so is half the crap I'm about to read. The first opportunity will be at UK Games Expo June 1, 1 through 3. June 1st through the 3rd. I can the reading, reading easy. So if you're in Birmingham, UK on June 1 through 3, um, you can play it. So the, the headline was technically true, but basically clickbait. You, you can't really do it. Like you in the... Like 0.0000001% of people that'll be at the UK Games Expo. Okay, that's you, but really the implied you is not us. So WizKids will have a booth, specifically 1-E2, which, okay, um, where you can try out the game. Then WizKids will be bringing its demo show on the road to Origins Game Fair, June 13th through the 17th at Columbus, Ohio, booth 601. Let me stop you right there. Boycott that absolute piece of shit Game Fair. Origins is a fucking joke. The guy running it is an incompetent jackass, and they just kicked out a guy basically for being pro-gun and trying to tell SJWs to get the hell out of, like, one little award show or something. So this nut job lady just bitched at everybody until the owner just caved immediately or the CEO manager whatever whoever he is event runner guy kicked him out and people are pissed people were literally buying tickets to go see this guy so fuck origins game fair and fuck you wizards for even going there or whiz kids i guess i don't know if that's a division of wizards i have no idea i don't even know who that is but fuck you both so cross that one off the list unless you want to encourage uh, any kind of event to cave to social justice nut jobs and their attack hate mobs. This lying bitch should be locked up. Seriously, I hope he sues her. So that aside, what will you be trying out, question mark? Nothing, because I'm not, I don't even have a fucking passport. I don't have a thousand dollars to fly to fucking the, the UK. 
nor would I purposely step foot in that fucking big brother shithole of an island. It makes China look not draconian with the number of like cameras and thought police. And you, you can literally go to jail for three years for posting a sentence online in England. So fuck England. Fuck the Origins Game Fair. So no, what will I be trying out? The answer is fucking nothing. So get your head out of your fucking ass and stop posting bullshit titles like this unless we, as a whole, collectively in the community, can actually see the fucking game early. Now that said, there are some actually interesting details. This is not just a rage video. So what will you be trying out? Glad you asked. Bitch, I never did and I won't be. Shut the hell up, Blake. Uh, because I had all these bullet points prepared and it would be a shame to leave them unbulleted. Or you could write the article in whatever best way suits the information in the presentation instead of just, I made bullets and I'm going to keep them that way. That said, I do agree with these being bullet points. I'm just giving them crap for some cringeworthy, weird attempt at like geeky humor that did not land at all. If you're not familiar with his writings and his articles, kind of theme. Heroes of Dominaria lets you play as Joyra, Karn, Teferi, or Chandra. Also, if you're Chandra, you immediately start the game by storming off and quitting and you lose. Just kidding. It doesn't say that, but you, you could. If you want to get into character, you could. In fact, you got to flip the board over if you're Chandra and then break into your neighbor's garage and steal their uh, swimming goggles if you really want the full experience. Don't do that, by the way. It's a joke, people. Bullet point number two. You'll draw mana from familiar locations such as Lanawar or Keld. Will you take damage, though? I think some of those are uh, pain lands or shock lands. Or, I, I forget which is which because nicknames are stupid. You'll use mana to power abilities, recruit other heroes, go on quests. Ooh, that sounds cool. I love quest-based board games. Oh my god, the Firefly board game. I love that. It's technically missions and contracts, but still. Uh, cast spells, rediscover lost artifacts, and of course, confront the Cabal. Ooh, I was hoping it would be that. So it sounds like a, a semi-competitive but PvE-focused game, which would be fantastic, which is players versus everyone or environment um, instead of just player versus player, winners, losers. And that makes sense. I mean, um, this might technically have a winner, but it's like, hey, you're still trying to, you know, fight back the Cabal, I guess. I'm kind of reading way too much into this. Bullet point numero cuatro. The game is recommended for two to four players aged 14 and up. Really? Because, I mean, honestly, 11-year-olds are typically smarter than 14-year-olds, in my experience. It's a frontal cortex thing. I've mentioned it before. I did a whole research paper on it in high school. Anyway, um, and up to a playtime of 60 to 90 minutes. But then again, Firefly is about that. So, you know, mission-based. And if you're having fun, why not keep it going? I mean, I, I could play Far Cry for five hours straight. The last bullet point, because I lost count and I don't want to recount. A premium version will be released in August. Oh, that's right. I already knew this. I forgot to leak this. I found out about this like a month ago. A premium version of the board game will be released in August that will have four painted miniatures of Joyra, Karn, Teferi, and Chandra. They should also make the board foil. That would be just right along with what they've done in the past. I mean, even Ultra Pro. I mean, come out with those really cool uh, uh, life counter things. Um they did foils. And I got a foil cat and I'm happy as hell about it. Screw you, Tarmogoy. If my adorned pouncer can kick you in the nuts. Want more? Check out this video. No, I'm not going to do that. Oh, uh, let's see. Still not enough? You want some never-before-seen images of the game? Well, aren't we demanding and in luck? God, I swear, his writing. Like, I just, I don't get it. I don't get his attempts at humor. It's like, it's, it's worse than when a Big Bang Theory joke doesn't land at all because it's already garbage writing. It's like supposed to be oh geeky and semi cringy, but ha ha ha! It's like a weird way to see the world and comment on something. And what an awkward way to write it! And he left it in the absolute madman. But I'm just like, this is so unprofessional, just bad. It's it's just bad writing. Anyway, I legit didn't even watch the video. It probably has full gameplay, and I could give you an account of it. But you know, on the other hand, it's eight minutes and twenty eight seconds long. So you know, I'd, I'd rather go make some peanut butter and jelly. Check out the images below of the board and renders of the minis available with the premium version of the game. I kind of wonder if, if they're like not painted pieces. Does it just not come with game pieces? If you like don't get the premium version, I would just get out my D&D miniatures. <laughs> okay, then check out the Heroes of Dominaria at UK of oh, whatever. Don't go there. They both suck. Okay, Blake didn't write that, but if he did, oh my god, would I take everything back. <laughs> Can you imagine that? Oh, then check it out at, just kidding, don't go to either of these. Fuck these two events. Sincerely, Blake Rasmussen. Mic drop. That would be like the most baller thing ever. Sneak that into the next article, Blake. 
So anyway, here's the game board. So I guess you got to like travel from place to place and then do things at them, I guess. Um, there's a turn counter, I guess, from 0 to 50, um, which is interesting. I've seen games like that. And then uh, it says round track on the bottom. Uh, does that say last turn? I should probably blow this up instead of looking at the little version. Oh, that didn't blow it up much, so I'm not 100% sure what that says, and I'm too lazy to enhance it in Photoshop. So uh, let's get to the miniatures. Now, these are just like 3D renderings of what they should look like, which means the surfaces are a little bit off, although they only semi-textured some areas and the lighting effects aren't consistent. But who cares, because they're not going to look like this exactly precisely anyway. So check out Chandra. Um... Kind of like a, a weird, like, longer face. It kind of doesn't look like her. Like, it kind of looks like they made Liliana into a pyromancer. So, kind of weird. But then again, they can't even keep Teferi looking consistent through the same set. Not even, like, a set from five years ago, because don't even get me started on that. But he looks like four different major celebrities in this set. Next up, check out Karn. Or, sorry, that's not Karn. That's Alphonse from Full Metal Alchemist. Like, Seriously, that that's him. Like, look at him side by side. I'm not. I'm too lazy to edit it up on screen, but like, go do it. I mean, that's practically the same exact thing that he wears. Like, what the hell? Anyway, moving on, we've got Joyra, who has cold, dead eyes that look straight into your soul. Um, I really like the pose, though. Like the colors, but you know, we'll see what the final version looks like. Although by we, I mean not me, because the premium version's like a lot of money. And remember, I get about 50% off. And finally, we've got Teferi looking so freaking ridiculously African, it's unbelievable. His robes are kind of supposed to be blue that's more of a gray, I don't know. That weapon's pretty on par with what I've seen, though, um, and the descriptions of it. But damn, that is just a straight-up dashiki. Well, okay, it's like a dashiki robe. I don't know. It, it's just, wow, they went all out for this one. Also, might I add... That does not look a damn thing like him. But hey, they're probably about an inch tall, so it's like, you know, it, how much detail is really going to translate to, like, actual stuff and, you know, whatever. What they should do is have collectible miniatures inside of bundles, you know, like Pokemon has been doing forever. People freaking love those. They're worth a fortune. They're highly collectible. They go up in price, and they cost almost nothing to make. Come on, wizards, get it together. People would buy them just to get the damn miniatures. They wouldn't be a replacement product for booster boxes necessarily. They would help out singles vendors, and they are a nightmare to ship because they're first class bare minimum, which after packaging and expenses is $3 minimum. That increases their local trade value, and that is fantastic. So what do you guys think? I mean, we know next to nothing about it. I refuse to learn anything about it because I don't care and I don't want to watch that eight minute video. So that's my official review right now and preview of Heroes of Dominaria. If you want to go see it, I'm not leaving the link either because fuck it. I mostly just wanted to show off these dank ass miniatures and it took 12 minutes just to do it. So fuck everything, especially my asshole customers today. And I'll see you guys next fucking video. I'm in a bad mood in case you can't tell.